Hello and welcome back to Sig Mechanics. I'm Edmund. This is going to be a relatively short video to share with you another project that I'm working on here at Sig Mechanics that I would like to get some feedback on. And this one is a little different because I've been developing the idea for a few months and it has been tested with excellent results. Uh, and it's even patent pending at the moment. So although I don't know if it's ultimately going to be released publicly, I think it's time to hear what Sig Mechanics subscribers have to say about it. And what I've devised is essentially a tool to convert your non-manual safety P320 to accept and use a factory manual safety lever. And what you're seeing here are two previously non-manual safety P320s. And as you can see, this one has a functional manual safety installed. And to demonstrate the function, I will insert the FCU into this X series grip module here that I also modified as part of this project. Okay, so as you can see, with the safety disengaged, the striker will release. And now with the safety engaged, the trigger no longer moves and the gun is rendered safe. Now, just as a reference, here is the M17, which is a model that comes from the factory with the manual safety pre-installed. And again, with the safety disengaged, the striker will release. And now with the safety engaged, the trigger no longer moves and it's rendered safe. And the reason the converted FCU and the factory M17 work the same is because as part of the project, I devised a method to be able to reliably and repeatedly locate the exact position along the FCU to match the specifications of the factory cutout here, and also shape the cutout to match the design on the M series P320s. Now, the cutout doesn't have to be this precise. Uh, something I found while testing was that so long as the cutout has a minimum clearance for the manual safety detent and a relatively smooth surface, this cutout allows for quite a lot of tolerance. For example, the manual safety JSD 80% actually has a cutout that when you compare it to a SIG factory model, doesn't even match the factory design in size or dimension. So uh, this modification seems to be fine so long as you follow uh, some general criteria. I should, however, note two things regarding this project. First, the modification requires that the installer is at least moderately proficient with uh, the tools necessary to make it work. Uh, and so as a general disclaimer, any work done to a firearm should be completed by a professional. And second, Sig Sauer generally does not like it when people modify their products. Uh, and so they even go as far as sometimes voiding factory warranty if a non-Sig certified uh, person installs even a factory part. Uh, however, if you're like me and you don't have a factory warranty to void, this might not be so much of an issue. In any case, for those that like this idea but are not prepared to do this type of project, there are paid services out there that you can ship them your FCU and grip module and they will make the cuts for you and then ship it back. That being said, what I like about this project is that you might not have to ship anything to an FFL and also you would be able to possibly modify multiple FCUs and grip modules. So you're not tied to only one modification per transaction. And so I like that you could share this with a friend or a, another member of the community and help them out. Anyway, like I said, this project at this point has been evaluated by various friends, businesses, and gunsmiths, and even by Robert Burke himself, who you might all know as the SIG Armor, and everyone has reported back having successfully converted a non-manual safety into a manual safety P320. So now I want to ask subscribers what your thoughts are on this project. Is this something that you would like to have available to use on your P320? Let me know why or why not, and leave me your opinions or considerations in the comment section below. And if you ask a question, I will try to answer it as best as I can. As you know, this channel is all about learning through open communication and explanation. All right, that's all I have for you today. See you soon.